Hi everybody and welcome back to Frank's 3D Shop. In this video we look at the design process in Fusion 360 of this cartridge for the Commodore 64. It is a design I made because I was not satisfied with the ones found on Thingiverse. Let's go! Oh, did you see the new shop? <laughs> So one of my new hobbies is uh, vintage computers. So uh, I bought this old Commodore 64 and I want to test it. I'm waiting for the power supply. I don't have a power supply for it now, uh, right now. I don't know if it works or not. Uh, the buyer, uh, the seller said that the, uh, it was working before it was put away. So maybe, maybe not, but that's not a problem. I'm looking at uh, a lot of uh, YouTube videos about uh, vintage computer like uh, the Adrian, Adrian's Digital Basement, which is a pretty cool channel for uh, those kind of uh, things. So uh, following his channels, uh, those channels, I bought a cartridge, which is a, a test cartridge, diagnostic cartridge. This is a dual one. You have to move the jumper um to choose which one you want so what i what i will do is use use a small switch like this to switch between the two modes those were bent that way and i bent them over this way so that i can connect and switch from the two but uh, I don't want to use this like that. Uh, seems to be, you know, asking for trouble. So I did go to uh, into um, Thingiverse, and there was some cartridge, some generic ones, um, which, if you print them this way with a lot of support below, they print. the The finish is nice on top. You have a recessed here for the um, sticker but they don't fit well um, and the finish inside is really bad so when you try to put this in it's not great so I don't like to print this way with a lot of support so I did try the other way um, so print it like this but the problem is that now it's the other way. This part, which has the sticker, is rough and you cannot stick easily a sticker there. It's, it's not a good surface. And still it doesn't fit right. Uh, and there is holes here that shouldn't be there. There is problem with the uh, with the model so what and this is too steep so it leaves a rough surface here you see so i don't like this and so what i decided to do is redo mine so i did take the measurements from this it's a standard cartridge so the measurements are the same and I did print my own, which can be printed face down. And there is no problem here with the, the holes. The, the ledge is complete all the way around. It fits nicely. You see, it doesn't move even without a screw. I've enlarged a little bit this because um, this board is a little bit thicker and I changed the angle here so it's it has a nice finish now let's see so it has a nice finish now it's pretty pretty nice finish overall and it works oh and I've I've done two and I've done two different models, one with the, the hole on top and one without. I, I need the one with the hole on top because I can 
just put this here, move the cable a little bit there, and use a screw to hold it. And that's it. You screw in. Does a nice finish. Works great. And is printable, you know? I like when things is easily printable. Those one from Thingiverse, they said, oh, use support, but I don't like it. So I did my own and modified it. So it can work as I want it to do. So let's see how we design this uh, Infusion 360. So let's begin with uh, saving first this so that we don't lose it. So C C64 cartridge, that's it. Then we are going to create a new component, which would be the bottom case. So, so bottom case. Then let's create a sketch on this plane. No, let's let's first start with the hole because it's going to be at the origin, which is best. So I'm going to do a 3.2 millimeter hole for the screw, then 4.4, which is for the cartridge hole, then. 6.5 which is for the the head of the screw that's gonna going to be countersink after that i know the inside side so i i, I use the uh, some of the uh, shortcuts that you can see here and you can assign new shortcuts with those little thin thing here the three dots so you can you know change them around but i use the standard one so R for rectangle so I'm gonna build a rectangle with the inside size of the cartridge which is which is 84 by 84.466 by 64.379 that's it then that with would be 41 millimeter from the hole that's it then i have another rectangle rectangle that's gonna be on the other side of the cartridge there's a wall in the middle you're gonna see so it's gonna have the same width but the height will be seven point 95 then i'm gonna do this line collinear with this one and this one collinear with this one so it's gonna be it's gonna follow this this one and no that's not it undo undo, undo. and then i'm gonna use a dim dimension those two will be at 1.6 millimeter in between. So just to make sure that everything stays where they are, I'm gonna do a construction line, which you use this to put it in construction mode, or X. This this rectangle will be will stay at 41, so it's constricted, and then this middle line which is indicated by the this triangle which you see here midpoint so when i draw this this one i draw it from the middle it's already in the middle but i still can move i cannot move up and down but i can still still move everything which i don't want so i'm gonna make this line let's zoom in a bit um, align with the middle here so it's coincident with this point. 
So now if I try to move anything, nothing moves. So everything is constricted, which is good because if you make changes afterward, everything's going to stay uh, the same. So I'm going to draw another rectangle, which will be the outside wall over all of this. And I want it with a dimension of two millimeters all the way around. So two millimeters here, two millimeters here, and two millimeters here, and here too. Oh, not 26, two. There you go. So you see everything is fixed. I cannot move anything and it's shown by the color too. So it's everything is black so everything is set in place. Also there is a, a, a wall of one millimeter um, that's gonna go inside of the base. So I'm gonna draw a line from here to wherever in the middle and then a second line that will go to the top about here and then another one to here there is many ways to do every everything but you know i'm used to do something my way so and then connect here so now i have a kind of a u if i can select it Okay, so now what we'll that what we will do is I want a thickness of one millimeter, not eleven. One. Here you go. Same thing. Same thing here. So let's put it here. One. Not eleven. One. Okay. Then let's put this one uh, here. One. So that's what I wanted. So let's extrude everything except the center hole for the screw by three millimeter. That's it. Then we want to extrude the walls. So now let's extrude. Let's put back the sketch and let's extrude the walls which I want at 10.2 and it wasn't it was cutting so I don't want to cut I want to join and I don't need the part in the front so let's undo this and add Two lines here at 90 degrees to separate the front so that we don't extrude that part let's do this then let's extrude and then what you can do is turn off the body then extrude I want to extrude the whole walls and, and join then you put back the first body so you join you will join what's displayed with what you do by 10.2 millimeter let's turn off the sketch yeah that's that's good okay one thing that is missing is Two lines here because there is a recess for the card so those are at a dimension of 3.1 from the inside wall 3.1 that's it same thing here 3.1 okay beginning to take shape then what we do okay so we turn on again the sketch 
take this and we do instead of going from the bottom we'll do from object which is this and then minus 1.7 millimeter so that's the the notch for the card then we'll extrude the inside extrude this and the ring so in a join and extrude up until this height that's it then extrude the small ring from this up I think I made the mistake here I think I didn't choose yeah there is a ledge here so let's go back I only have the exterior so I need let's go back to this and select this I'm holding command on the Mac I think it's Altern or control on the PC to uh, so that I can select you know something else add or subtract that's it okay then I want to extrude this ring from this in the joint so from object here and up to and join and we said 1.7 1.7 which will be the same height as this one so the cartridge will go the whole of the cartridge will go inside this and be at the same level as the top that seems good and then we need to reinforce this so we do a fillet not too much just, just so that let's let's see closer maybe a little less real maybe like this yeah let's see that's okay and I want a place for the head of the screw so this this is going up 1.6 now I think I have enough meat let's do a 1.7 which countersink the screw a little more and just to be sure that we have enough space inside there that the wall is not too thin let's do an inspect section analysis on this plane and we move it right up to here about in the middle so with the section analysis you see that so i think it's a little more than 1.7 let's say 2.8 2.9 yeah 2.9 so the screw will be hidden inside here there and then I want also to force a bridge so I'm gonna do a small cap here so let's use this one extrude extrude from from here by 0.1 millimeter and join so this is closing so this is closing the hole but but by just one layer so it makes it easier for the um, cura or the slicer to do a bridge because you have basically not a hole so it's gonna do a a bridge correctly 
so this will print without support and remove the analysis okay so that's about it for the yeah so i want i want a bevel here so let's do a chamfer and i want a i want a two distance chamfer uh, so about i would say one millimeter this way then 1.8 this way yeah that that does a nice bevel edge let's do the same thing here so two distances on this side. Yeah. and to match the other one it should be one and 1.8 yeah, this is matching up with the other one just below, which is nice. Okay, same thing on the other side. Here, so fill it. Then say one and one point eight, or the other way. Yeah, the other way around. So one point eight and one, which matches the other one here. So that's nice. That's, that's looking good. So basically, we extrude that U shape, that inside ledge, from the top here up inside what will be the top. I think it's 1.8 or 2, 2.038, <laughs> which is near 2. Let's turn off the sketch and look at it. So you see we have a ledge all around the piece that will hold the top case easily or easier. That's it for me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and push the little bell to be notified of new videos. Please comment below and give me ideas for future videos and see you in the next video. Ciao, bye.